Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be giving you my professional review of General Finish's Enduro Sanding Sealer. Uh, so normally they come in a, uh, an actual metal can, but there is a, uh, a shortage of uh, metal paint cans right now, so they're sending these out in, uh, in plastic jugs, which I actually prefer. I hope they keep doing it. Um, so just a uh, quick overview on this finish before I start showing you me uh, spraying this stuff. So this is probably my favorite general finishes product and if you're want a quick if, if you're looking for a quick answer of is it a great product should you buy it? Yes, it is the best sanding sealer that I've ever used. There are a few little drawbacks you need to be aware of, but as long as you're being aware of those drawbacks, then you're free to use this and it is a awesome awesome um, sealer to use. Um, so in high quality finishes, you're going to be hearing the words primer or sealer used interchangeably. Usually a sealer means a primer with no color, and usually a primer means a sealer with color, at least in terms of fine woodwork. When you're getting into wall paints and concrete and stuff, then their primers do different things. But um, basically a high quality woodworking primer and sealer are the same things. It's just that every industry has their own sealers or primers and you need to make sure that you're buying a product that's meant for fine woodwork if this is what you're going to be using it for. So what is a sealer or primer and why should you use it? Easy answer is because wood absorbs moisture um, of oil or of water, um, once you put a film finish on top of wood, it doesn't actually sit on top of the wood. It will get absorbed into the wood. And what that does is it does a couple of things. One, it raises the grain up, which means it's not going to be smooth anymore. So if I were to take this beautiful piece of cherry and sand it to 2000 grit, it'll be very smooth to the touch. But as soon as you touch it with any kind of a moisture, some of these grain fibers are going to stand up and you'll actually not get a smooth surface anymore. That's why it's no good to sand raw wood beyond like 220 or 320 grit uh, once it's going to be put into a, a film finish because it, it's going to become rough again after you put that first finish on it. Now there are some applications where you can raise the grain with water before you put your first coat on, but it's not a... Um, it's, it's not a catch-all. It doesn't do uh, all applications. So a primer basically does that. A sealer does that. It gets the, the grain to raise up so you can start flattening it back down and it'll stay back down. And it gives you a nice bed of product that you can lay your top coat on without it getting absorbed into the, into the, uh, into the wood, wood fibers. Now anybody can be a bad painter, but it takes the right products and a lot of practice to become a great painter. So if you don't care if it's a perfectly flat surface or if it doesn't have any orange peel on, on, the, on the finish or anything like that, you don't need a sanding sealer. You can just go straight into your top coats and it's not going to be perfect, but it will be protected and it will do the job for you just, just fine. So your next question might be, well, why don't you just skip the sanding sealer altogether and just go straight into the top coat if I can build up every layer? Can't you just apply the top coat for every single layer and sand that back down until it's smooth and sealed? And so it'll be just one product all the way through. Yes, but I know that sounds simpler, but it's actually not going to be faster because these products aren't engineered to be sanded easily. So a sanding sealer is engineered to sand like butter. It's going to go super fast and it's meant to do that. So you're never going to find one product that does everything great. You're always going to have a better application process of using specific products that are engineered for specific things. And some finishes like the General Finishes Sanding Sealer is intended to go over previously painted surfaces. And it adheres really, really well to other products, whether it's going to be a lacquer base or a polyurethane base or a latex, whatever. This stuff sticks to it great as long as you sand it properly. And I can't say the same for General Finish's other top coats or any, any top coats in general. The top coats are meant to be bonded to very specific primers, but primers can bond to many different materials. So I know it seems simpler to just use one, one product every layer through, 
but it's not easier. You're gonna have an easier time by using specific products for sanding sealers and top coats. Now, one thing about General Finishes products is all of their Enduro line come pre-thinned. And most of their other products, except for like their milk paints, all come out pre-thinned so that you can just put it into an HVLP or a conventional spray gun and just spray it right out of the can with no mixing and no trying to be a chemist. And uh, that's why General Finishes is a great company for you to get into for an entry line, high quality waterborne finishes. On top of that, General Finishes has great resources as you're trying to learn the ropes. Um, if you look at their YouTube channel, they uh, describe very clearly what's special about each product, why it's different, and why it's worth the money and when you would purchase it and how to apply it. Not all paint companies do that. So General Finishes is a great company when you're just learning how to spray and you, you might not be a professional painter with a lot of mixing experience um, and, and you just want to get your hands on some product and spray and for it to be doing a good job right away. It's a great company for that and I still use their products all the time. They have great products. Because they are pre-thinned, that also means that they are going to have difficulty in hanging applications in vertical surfaces. Here, for example, is a bar cabinet that I sprayed upright. I couldn't disassemble this cabinet. So here's a, uh, an example of an issue with the, uh, the thinning of General Finishes products is we have a little bit of running right here on, uh, on this uh, piece that I'm refinishing. Now this is the sanding sealer, so it's gonna st that, that run is gonna sand out super, super easy. So it's not gonna be a really big issue in the sanding sealer, but when it comes to the top coats, it is an issue. Um, so whenever you're dealing with a pre-thinned product, you need to know that it's not engineered to hang very well on vertical surfaces, just like this. So if you're gonna be interested in any General Finishes products except for their milk paints, you're gonna to need to know that you should probably lay your products down flat and then spray them so you're not gonna get any runs. And as long as you're doing that, you're gonna have a great time with General Finishes products and they're gonna do a great job for you. Now, if you are going to be spraying vertically, you can add some accelerator and this lets it dry faster once it gets onto the wall and it will, will run a lot less. So this is something you can use um, to help that if you're gonna be doing something on a vertical application for any of the thinned out general finishes products. So this here is a door that goes to that bar. I took that door and I scuff sanded it with some 150 grit. And then what I did is I, I coated it with one coat of the general finishes sanding sealer. And this right now is one coat of the general finishes sanding sealer. Now you might look at that and be like, that's like good, like leave it alone. Well, it looks good right now. It's, it's shiny and it looks good. But the problem is that these sanding sealers are not intended to, uh, to be scratch resistant. So it's not going to, uh, to hold up that well over time um, durability wise. So at the very least, you want to do two coats. You would want to do one uh, sanding sealer and then one top coat at the very least. Now, good news is the General Finishes sanding sealer gives great adhesion. I can't scratch this stuff off with my fingernail. It has great sticking to a previously um, painted surface when it comes to a refinishing job. So it's so now I'm going to show you uh, another really good thing about the General Finishes sanding sealer is how fast it sands and it never gums up sandpaper. Um, and by the way, you can apply General Finishes Sanding Sealer with a brush or a roller and sand it to be dead flat. Um, but it's just not as fast as spraying it. You should always spray it if you're trying to get it done fast. And I have an eighth inch surf prep sanding pad here. If you've never tried surf prep sanders or sanding pads, 100% worth every penny. I'm never going back. They're the only things you ever need to buy when it comes to paint sanding. So this is what I'm using to, uh, to sand this thing. We're gonna see how fast this thing sands.
One awesome thing about the general finish of sanding sealer is you don't have to guess when you're done sanding. You can see that it's not shiny anymore. And when it's not shiny anymore, that's when you know it's ready for your next coat and it's going to stick well. Basically took about a minute to sand in between coats with that surf prep sander on uh, in combination with the general finish to sanding sealer. So when you're in a situation where you're trying to make money doing a refinishing job or you're just a hobbyist and you don't want to spend all day doing boring sanding, um, this is just a great, great product. I love their general finish to sanding sealer. Now for most of my career, I've sprayed this stuff out of a 3M AccuSpray um, pressurized cup gun and it lays down perfectly. Um, I, I've actually never sprayed any General Finishes products out of any gun and it not laid down perfectly as long as you lay down the surface uh, onto a flat surface. But just be aware, the only problem you're going to have with any of the General Finishes products or any waterborne uh, th or thinned out product for, for that matter is when you're doing it on vertical surfaces. Then you have a situation on your hands where you need to be very aware with proper uh, spray equipment and not all sprayers can do that. As long as you're laying it down flat, any sprayer that you have will be able to spray any of the General Finishes stuff including the sanding sealer and give you perfect, perfect results.